We start this week with some good traffic news. Recent hiring efforts by the Garrison and the Directorate of Emergency Services means that the Mapes Maryland 32 access control point is reopening on the weekend. Starting October 5th, the gate will be open weekends from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Good news indeed. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, the combined federal campaign kicks off and it's a busy fall festival season. We'll run down some of the events taking place. But first this week, October is National Domestic Violence Awareness Month. This week, Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Yolanda Gore and Command Sergeant Major Richard Moore started Fort Meade's observance with a proclamation signing. We'd like to thank you guys today uh, for joining us and for signing our proclamation signing. But before we do that, we want to introduce um, our FEP staff. Now, you guys know the Army has two parts of FEP. We have a FEP MEDCOM and a FEP MCOM, but we are one FEP. So everyone has joined together today to commemorate the start of Domestic Violence Awareness Month. The Family Advocacy Program has a full slate of activities scheduled. First, everyone can show their support by wearing purple every Friday in October. All of these workshops and activities are held in the Family Advocacy Program Center in Building 2462. One exception is the October 26th Walk Away from Domestic Violence event. That's being held in conjunction with the fun run at Murphy Fieldhouse. For more information, go to me.armymwr.com. In other news, the annual Combined Federal Campaign is underway. Each year, the CFC provides an easy way for federal employees to give to their favorite charities. Here's a message from the U.S. Office of Personnel Management. Hi, I'm Rob Shriver, Acting Director of the Office of Personnel Management and Chair of the 2024 Combined Federal Campaign. Since 1961, the CFC has helped federal employees, postal workers, and members of our armed services pledge nearly $8.7 billion, that's billion dollars, to the causes that matter most to them. And while this tradition of giving is more than 60 years strong, the need for your generosity is more important now than ever before. If you want to donate, go to givecfc.org and click on the big donate button. Meanwhile, there are many military spouse support groups serving Fort Meade. One you might not have heard about is the Society of Military Widows. I spoke with Fort Meade's Chapter 38 president about how the society supports military widows. The society was established in 1968 by a lady named Tess Alexander to serve the interests of women who had lost their husbands uh, while they were in the service, um, after they had retired, people who were ladies who were military widows. And the reason it was established is because once you lose your husband who is in the military system, the widows were kind of hanging out there, right? And they did not have the support or the ability sometimes to get information that they needed about maybe military medical care, military benefits, what's happening on the base. Chapter 38 meets the third Tuesday of every month at 1130 at the Lanes Bowling Center. Elsewhere, MWR is holding a two-day property sale on October 16th from noon to 5 p.m. and on October 17th from 10 to 3. The sale is being held in the Fort Meade Pavilion near the Llewellyn Gate. More than 300 items are up for sale, ranging from fitness equipment to boats to computers and much more. You can use cash or card, and all sales are final. If you have any questions, call 301-677-7793. As I said at the top of the show, it's a busy fall festival season. Here's a brief rundown on what we have so far. First, registration is open for the Trunk or Treat co-hosted by Fort Meade MWR and the NSA Civilian Welfare Fund. It takes place Saturday, October 26th from 10.30 a.m. to 1.30 in the National Cryptologic Museum parking lot. All vehicles participating must pre-register. On October 19th, Club Meade is hosting a family Halloween ball from 5.30 to 9.30. The ball features a full dinner buffet, dancing, and a DJ. Tickets are available now. Stop by Club Meade or call 301-677-6969. Smallwood Hall is hosting a nightly haunted house from October 21st through the 30th from 5 to 10 p.m. Admission is free, and one note, it's recommended for kids 8 or older. The 704th Military Intelligence Brigade's annual trunk or treat is scheduled for October 30th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. in the Smallwood Hall parking lot. And finally, the Defense Information School, in conjunction with the 704th, invites you to the Halloween in the Schoolhouse and their haunted library. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.